Hello friends, welcome to Finance MCQ. I am Sir Pritam Sangwan. Friends, today we will discuss official syllabus of Management Trainee Finance of Bharat Dynamics Limited. Friends, this syllabus was released in last week, but I am making video in the current week, so really sorry for that. So now let's, without wasting further time, let's start the video. Friends, it is a technical syllabus which is of a hundred marks, and your remaining fifty marks will be non-technical topics. that is your english reasoning and aptitude so the 50 marks come from that topic so here we are discussing the technical syllabus which is released by the bdl in section 1 the first part is financial accounting in that the first topic is accounting convention and practice friends here they are asking the basic of accounting topics such as concept of accounting depreciation and method stock valuation difference between capital and revenue so these are the basic accounts topics then in the second part they are asking about indias in that they want you to know applicability of indias interpretation of various accounting standards scope and compliance with the accounting standard and the part 3 is related to preparation of company account so basically the schedule 3 company final account you should be aware how to prepare the company final account then fourth part is related to accounting services in organization and they have specifically mentioned regarding construction companies and project accounting and part 5 under financial accounting is related to accounting and interpretation of financial statement so it's basically analysis of financial statement which are your accounting ratios and all those things so now if you ask me out of this which one is the important one so friends i will say you should really practice accounting convention and practices then you should also prepare indas in the indas since it's relatively new as compared to accounting standard so you need to have the basic knowledge of indas in that applicability of indas what are the various scope of it and you should also know the numbering of indas say suppose your revenue standard pertains to 115 so like that you should also be aware about the important indas and their numbering so they can also ask question from that you don't need to have in depth knowledge of indas is just you should be aware about the basic knowledge of indas then preparation of companies account it won't be that much difficult since we are presenting in schedule 3 companies account so you can prepare that and the accounting interpretation is basically the ratios and all those things so you should have a knowledge of this construction companies and project accounting one or two question can be asked maximum i don't think so it will be predominated by these two topics so you should have at least practice the other four topic thoroughly so i hope financial accounting is clear now let's go to the second one friends now part b talk about industrial and other laws in industrial law they are asking factory act your industrial dispute act workman compensation payment of wages provident fund payment of bonus gratuity and consumer protection act these are all under industrial act they want you to cover and prepare for the exam and in other laws they are asking llp then rti act i don't know why rti act is asked then the competition commission act and negotiable instrument act so these are all other laws that needs to be prepared if you ask me which one is the important out of this so in other laws i will say your llp is important your negotiable instrument is also important and if you talk about industrial laws then your industrial dispute is important one payment of wages is important provident fund bonus gratuity so these are all important one and you should prepare for these topics now part c talks about applied direct taxation so it's basically your direct tax and they are asking all your income tax related provisions and entire income tax act which is there in your ca final so they are asking everything in income tax that is the basic types of ssc then the salaries and all different heads of the income computation of income and return deductions tds tcs and the other tax schemes and assessments appeals all those things they are asking and penalties refund wealth tax etc are covered under direct tax and 
in the second part they are asking practical problems and other case studies under direct tax so now if you ask me what to study in it or your direct tax so i will suggest you should focus on the basics of income tax then income under all heads you should also prepare and deductions and etc should also be prepared so you should at least prepare these three topics thoroughly under income tax act now part d is your cost and management accounting under that the first one is basic concept of cost accounting in that they are asking cost concept and classification of cost material labor direct expenses then indirect expenses and cost accounting standards so these are the basic cost accounting concepts that they want you to be familiar with and the second topic under cost and management accounting is cost accounting method and system so here they are asking about job costing batch costing contract and process costing cost accounting for service sector then accounting entries for an integrated accounting system reconciliation between costing and financial profit then interlocking of accounting so these are basically your costing topics in your ca final or cma final that they are covered here so if you ask me in the first one the basic concept of cost accounting so out of all this which one is the important one so i will suggest that the this is the basic cost concept is important then material labor and direct expenses these are all your ipcc syllabus so a theoretical question or one or two practical questions can be asked then the indirect expenses i don't think so that there is any specific question will be there then your cost accounting standards are also important so a question can be come from this topic and in the second one the cost methods so here these methods are important this job batch process costing cost accounting for service sectors a question can definitely come from this topic and the reconciliation between cost and financial profit so they can ask one question from this topic also so you should at least prepare these three topic thoroughly in the second point now if we talk about the third topic under cost and management accounting its decision making tools here they are asking about marginal costing absorption costing throughput accounting throughput accounting is just a small topic so it can be manageable then abc costing integrated of standard costing and marginal costing process costing and all those things which are the part of a decision making so all these topics they are asking so if out of this you are asking which one is the important then your marginal costing is important absorption costing is important and your process costing is also important so you should at least have a good knowledge of these three topics from this then the fourth one is your budgeting here the basic concept of budget then fixed and flexible budget and fixed variable semi variable then financial result and zero based budgeting so out of all these topics zero based budgeting is important one you should know fixed and flexible budget is also important so these two are the important topic that you should have at least knowledge of this because most of the time the questions came from budgeting topic is either from zero based costing or fixed or flexible budget so these are the really important one and one should have knowledge of these two topics then the fifth topic under cost and management accounting is your standard costing here they are asking manufacturing standard for labor material and overhead price rate and usage efficiency variance is your fixed overhead variance planning and operational variance then there other sales related variances then interpretation of various variances and benchmarking for setting standards so basically it is ca final standard costing including ipcc syllabus so you should have just overall knowledge of the topics of standard costings and have a little bit practice of these topics will be sufficient then part 6 is related to costing and performance management it is a theoretical subject so here they are asking business performance measurement for performance improvement and the seventh one is recent trend in cost and management accounting so it's again a theoretical topic so this costing is re really a big one where they are asking almost everything from the costing ca final and intermediate syllabus so we have to be selective and the important topics we should take care of and study for the exam now if you talk about the next subject 
विच इज ऑपरेशन मैनेजमेंट एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम सो अंडर ऑपरेशन मैनेजमेंट दे आर मैंशन इनपुट रेशो लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ मशीन चेंज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इम्प्लीकेशन फ्रेंड्स हेयर दिस लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन दीज आर द सी ए फाइनल क्यू टी सिलेबस इफ यू आर अवेयर अबाउट दैट दे आर क्वेश्चन ऑन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड द रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ मशीन चेंज इन टेक्नोलॉजी सो दिज आर थेटिकल टॉपिक दिस टू द प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन आर देयर बट आई फील फ्रॉम आउट ऑफ दिस दे विल मोस्टली आस्क थेटिकल क्वेश्चन इफ दे वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक सो जस्ट फोकस ऑन दिस टू थिंग एंड द सेकेंड वन इन अंडर इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम the part one is management information system about the mis and the second one is erp so these are the two thing under information system so instead of going through each and every topic under these two mis and erp you just focus or you just understand what is erp what is mis and how these things work so just if you have a little bit of theoretical knowledge of these two that will be sufficient it won't be in depth knowledge of these two topics are required then the next topic is financial management friends here the first one is overview of financial management here they are asking about finance and related discipline scope of financial management planning environment key decisions of financial management emerging roles earning distribution policy compliance of regulatory requirements then sources of finance exchange rate risk agencies involved etc so they are asking in the overview of financial management so if you ask me which one is the important one here so your scope of financial management is important a question can be asked earning distribution policy is important your sources of finance is important because it's very vast and a question can be asked from it then your exchange rate risk agencies from risk agency a question can be asked so out of this these three or four topics are important then the second one is financial management decision so it is the main crux of this financial management so here they are asking capital structure theories and planning cost of capital designing capital structure capital budgeting lease financing working capital management financial services dividend and retention policies then selection of source of finance etc effect of financing decisions on balance sheet and ratios and role of treasury and other terminologies like wta gawt corporate governance trips etc are asked under this so under this topic the important one are your capital structure cost of capital then decision under capital structure capital budgeting is also important lease financing is basically a theoretical one so you just have if you have a knowledge of lease financing and various types of lease financing then that will be sufficient so you should also prepare this then working capital management is also important dividend policy is important one so all these are the important one and then the ratios also important so you should at least prepare these topics under financial management decisions then part 3 is related to financial analysis and planning here they are asking fund flow and cash flow statement financial ratios so they have mentioned here all types of financial ratios the limitations of ratio analysis identification of information required to assess financial performance effect of short term debt on measurement of gearing so basically all the ratios you should prepare thoroughly and the cash flow fund flow the knowledge if you have so a question can be there from that and then limitation and all those things are the theoretical one so you can just go through them once and that would be sufficient so basically the question from the ratios can be asked from here then the fourth part is operating and financial leverage so this is basically what we had in our ipcc about operating leverage and financial leverage so all these are that topic so you should have at least knowledge of what is ebit and all those things so this one is important and the sensitivity analysis is also important one they either they can ask a question from it or theoretical or practical question then under financial management next topic is investment decision so here they are asking cost benefit and risk analysis linking of investment with customer requirement designing capital structure impact of taxation capital investment venture capital funding hybrid financing so regarding all the decisions related to your investments so here the venture capital financing is important that you should have knowledge of an hybrid finance instrument which are the 
various finance instruments so you should have knowledge of these two topic then part 6 is related to project management so here all the topics related to project management project financing and all these things are covered here so one should have at least basic knowledge of what is project management and its cost benefits and the sources of project finances etc then the seventh part is international monetary and financial system so it's just the overview of international monetary and financial system that they need you to have knowledge of here they are asking understanding of international monetary system export and import practices then international financial management then international financial services and insurance so important issues and features so this i feel that even if you skip that would be all right because the maximum question that can ask from here is either one or two not more than that and that can and that will be from your international financial management or export import practices one question can be there not more than that so you don't need to spend so much time on this topic now next subject is indirect and direct tax management so here they are asking gst customs export promotion schemes and income tax so income tax is already asked by them so here the the major one is gst and your income tax so one should have knowledge of these two then your foreign trade policy and eou as some provisions related to scz's or eou and income tax will be sufficient so you should prepare accordingly then the next topic is management accounting enterprise performance measurement so this is basically your mix of costing theory plus practical questions so first one is management control systems so here the control system with framework of organization application of control structure and operations of management accounting control behavior variance in control and management accounting system so this is entirely theoretical topic then the second one is operation management here your mrp is important then your just in time is important one then erp is also important then one need to know about these topics and then your business process re-engineering is important so these four topics are important in operations management so you should just focus on these four and prepare thoroughly then the third topic under this subject is cost planning and analysis for competitive advantage so here value analysis then just in time tqm and theory of constants are asked kaizen costing is important again one should prepare for this then learning curves and their use activity based management overhead break even analysis then target costing life cycle costing strategic total cost management so these are the some of the important one one should prepare since most of these are the theoretical topic you should focus on where you have mix of both practical as well as theory so that will be really helpful like your kaizen costing is important here just in time tqm are some of the important and renowned methods so you should know about this then the fourth topic under this subject is treatment of uncertainty in decision making so here the nature and risk of uncertainty sensitivity analysis then assignment of probabilities analysis of probabilities expected value table decision tree for multiple decisions so it's basically a practical topic so one i don't think so a question will be there to solve problem based on decision tree so you can prepare only just on sensitivity analysis is the important one under this topic then fifth one is enterprise performance measurement system so it's again a theoretical topic here they are asking balance scorecard and eva so this one is important so one should prepare this then sixth topic under this subject is quality management here the important one are total quality management tqm then your all this practice for continuous improvement kaizen 5s six sigma etc are the important one so basically all the methods related to quality measurement are covered under here and your external standards like iso standards are also important and they can ask and one question can be asked on your best practices global award so in quality management which award is given like that so a question can be there so these are all topics covered under your this subject now let's see which are the other subject they are asked and the next subject is advanced financial accounting and reporting 
so it's like advanced account the first one is introduction of indias so again the basic of indias we need to prepare not in-depth knowledge just a basic knowledge of indias you should have then second one is preparation of company's final account under various circumstances so basically they are asking circumstances such as merger how you will treat goodwill and all amalgamations related provisions then the consolidation of companies so basically how you prepare balance sheet under this situation so like in the consolidation they can ask a question regarding stock reserve adjustments etc so one should have that much knowledge how they how you will prepare the balance sheet under these situations and accounting standards related relevant to this concept so one should also prepare accounting standards also since the accounting standards are the older one and we already are having the knowledge of accounting standard so it won't be that much difficult next topic is group financial statement so it's entire group financial statements regarding adjustments and how you will prepare the balance sheet of group companies so based on that a question can be asked as i mentioned earlier like stock reserve elimination entries and all those things need to know because these are the only thing that we should take care of during consolidation or preparing group financial statements so accordingly a question can be asked then the fourth one is segment reporting and next one is development in external reporting their applicability of particular accounting standard related to external reporting then scope of accounting standards compliance with accounting standards many are repetitive topics which is already covered then preparation of annual report external reporting under capital market regulations then exposure to reporting under us uk law then ifrs requirement for reporting so it's really a huge topic to understand them all in detail so i will suggest that if you have less time and if you don't then ignore this topic the maximum you will lose either a one or two marks so wasting so much time for the one or two marks will not make sense so if you are not familiar with the these topics so you can just avoid so you can ignore this topic then the next subject is companies act provisions related to audit cost audit and operational audit so once need to know all the provisions related to auditors appointment and all those things corporate governance is also there then various provisions related to review audit of internal control system so here the important one is caro audit report then your verification of evidence and all those things are your basically auditing standards so you should have knowledge of auditing standards also here then the audit not working papers are the simpler ones so i don't think so we need to spend much time on this and internal audit and investigations of fraud etc so basically just a basic audit knowledge one should have here and then the part 3 they are asking company cost records so basically everything regarding your cost records then how the cost audit report is prepared so basically both audit as well as financial audit as well as cost audit is asked then the next topic under this subject is various types of audit report so here the important one is your due diligence sox report then your qualities of good certificate of report then audit under erp bank audit and concurrent audit are the two big syllabus so if you are in this industry then it will be an advantage for you rest i don't think so you should spend so much time on this learning these two if you study these four under this it will be sufficient because these are the important one here and then the next subject is companies act so you should have knowledge of companies act last one is schedule 3 of companies act so a question can be asked which one is a part of non current or current or like that you should have a knowledge of companies act also so friends this is the official syllabus of bharat dynamics limited for the post of management trainee finance friends now let's discuss how to prepare for these exams so i will suggest that you should focus on important subjects rather than all the subjects like accounts in that you should focus on basic accounting concept is important then you should also focus on indias topic you should also study accounting standards topic and then you should also study about financial statements preparation and presentation and last about the various ratios so if you prepare all those things i feel that accounts will be your more or less covered then the second topic is financial management 
I will say in this you will study sources of finance is important topic then working capital management is important then various decisions related to your capital like capital budgeting capital structure etc are important one dividend decisions etc are the important topic so these are the some of the topic you should study then under costing i will suggest that you should study various types of cost because question is definitely asked from this topic then marginal costing is also important topic then standard costing is also important and various quality improvement techniques like your tqm your six sigma five s kaizen etc are the important topic you should study then next one is audit friend under audit you should study basic audit standards and also cost audit standards because these are the important one and question can be asked from that then under law you should study companies act and last your tax you should put your focus on income tax act and gst act so friends if you study all these five to six topic then you are covering almost your 75 to 85 percent marks and these are also our strong subjects that we studied in our academics so we should put more focus on these subjects rather than the subjects which are new or which we are seeing for the first time or which have not that much practice because those will take your maximum energy as well as the time so it's better to put your efforts in the subjects which are your strong point and can help you to get more marks so in my opinion you should focus on these topics and you should study these topics or subjects thoroughly now the second question is from where to study so friends the first one is either you can study from your cscma final or CACMA inter books because the syllabus are from our final or intermediate level so you can go and study from those books or the second option is you can practice MCQ questions regarding these topics and revise all these topics and friends if you are interested in practicing in MCQ format then I will suggest that you should check a BDL course launched by us on our finance MCQ website there we have covered all this topic and friends since this course is launched before the official launch of the syllabus so we are adding some of the important topics which missed by us such as topics related to indias then or some topics from costing and audit various types of audit etc so we are adding all those topic which are not covered by us in this upcoming week so that we can cover the maximum topics in the syllabus so i feel that if you prepare this much you will be in a better chance of scoring 75 to 80 percent marks rather than worrying the syllabus is such a large and how to go ahead with that if you prepare this much you will be in the better condition and friends if you have any other alternate strategy or suggestion so do write in the comment box so that other candidates will also come to know about all these things and learn from each other so i wish you all the best and do check the course on our website regarding bdl management trainee finance so thank you so much for watching this video till the end